What is a charter school? That's a great question and it's, it's difficult to answer in a short bit. Charter schools, if managed correctly and if they have the right academic program, quite frankly can provide uh, children and families who traditionally don't have options. They have the institutional traditional school in their neighborhoods. They can provide for them a quality option to really give and introduce the young people to an opportunity that otherwise they would not have. You know, in my mind, a charter school is, is a parent's um, ideal public school. It has been for so many years that our parents chose their schools based on their zip code or based on their neighborhood. And so charter schools give parents and families the option of looking at how their children learn best, what the priorities are for their families, and then choose a school that actually fits their students and fits the family. A charter school is a public school, first and foremost. We are still a public school. But we have parents that have been organized that they would like a different choice for their children, where parents can have more involvement in the, in the say of their children's education. Education, even though we hire government to help us, education is a parent's responsibility. There's nothing more important than public education led by parents, driven by parents, where the quality of education is defined by parents. Not only the teachers and the administration, but also the parents, um, they all kind of come together and uh, work to create kind of a community where everyone um, gets input into the school. It really is about choice. It's about parents being able to choose um, a specific type of education or curriculum or structure or style of a school. A charter school is a really cool little concept. It's basically members of a community get together and they decide that they want to create a better school to fit a certain population of students or have a certain angle or a philosophy on education. Every charter school is different. Every charter school has its own, own kind of mission and its own purpose in this world. And if you're actively looking for a school for your kid, you owe it to yourself to go and, and, and check into charter schools in your area. And, and, and whatever you do though, don't assume that the first one you see is indicative of the next one. Every charter school is different in, in all sorts of ways. Probably some that you'd expect and some that would surprise you. All charters look totally different depending on what their charter is, depending on what they focus in on, they're all going to look totally different. The curriculum that we have here, we get to go up to the mountain and do all this experiential education and I love it. Now that I'm older I realize this, but I felt kind of just pushed through the system. Whereas in the charter school there was actual um, concentration on, on how I'm perceiving the material and do I get the understand what I'm learning and how am I going to apply it in the future when I'm an adult. A private school runs off their, like, their own funds and everything, and a public school will run off of like the government funds. We are government funded, but we're basically a smaller organization that will find something that we want to do. So we focus on the arts, and we focus on small individual attention, and focus on quantum learning. So that would be our thing to be a Seabird Charter High School, because you're a charter school, so you focus, you have your own vision for something. We are funded through the per-pupil funding through pub the public school system. We have our own individual governing boards rather than being governed through the district's governing board. Being able to use our money, being able to buy the equipment or supplies that we need, and then set our calendar and our schedule. Parents have a say in what um, their children can learn, the dress code, the policies here. Uh, I think the voice of the parent is what sets apart uh, a, a charter school versus a neighborhood school. We operate by the same set of rules that everyone in a public education system operate in. We are a public school, but we are a public school of choice, and that's really the defining characteristic for us. Parent involvement is crucial within the charter school system because we do not have all of the funding that a, a normal neighborhood district school has. So they really have to depend on parents stepping up to help out with a variety of different things depending on what the school's focus is. But the final reason I chose a charter school was I wanted to be an active participant, so, and I definitely found that here. For the full education of the child, it's not just the teacher's responsibility, it's not just the school, it's the parents. The parents have to be involved. I think it's important for new parents and um, parents who are looking into charter schools and not quite sure about them to know that it really is up to them. They, they are in charge of their child's education. Research shows that families that are more involved in their children's education, the children tend to be more successful. 
there's a lot of voice and, um, and power in the parent at a charter school. Every child has the right to a high quality seat in public education. When I had my daughter come in to start school, I got to talk to the teachers, I got to know how they really do care about the students and what they uh, learn. A charter school to me is the best place you could have a student go.